So it's gonna try something new with the lighting in this one. Either it's gonna look kind of cool or it's gonna look absolutely crap and too dark and really not good. There's no middle ground. Those are the two options. So we'll see. This this video's going up regardless. I'm a couple of days late to making the video, but like I was saying before, uh, I'm working night shift. I am knackered. It's like 6 a.m. right now. I'm just finishing work. I'm actually not even technically finished yet. I've got like 10 minutes left in my shift, but I just thought I would start this video now because I'm starting to get real tired and I need to get it done. So Drakenfest is canceled officially. It was announced a couple of days ago on the official Facebook group page for Drakenfest. I think we all kind of knew it was coming and to be honest, I'm kind of relieved because one, if I was gonna go, I would have left it very late to get tickets and accommodation and everything like that. And two, if it was happening with everything that's kind of going on, I wouldn't want to go. I know I made a video before when everything was kind of starting to kick off saying that I was still planning to go and all that stuff. But with the way everything's gone, I had kind of decided like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave this year. If even if it hadn't got canceled, I would have had to have skipped this year. So I believe it's getting canceled because the Hessen County government or something, I'm not sure exactly, German government, that's all I know, German government. They decided to designate Drakenfest as one of the events that's too large to go ahead, which is totally true. And to be honest, they should have said it a lot sooner. Like players were getting stuck in limbo about like, is it on, is it not on? Do I go, do I not go? But if you think about it, like running an event that big, let's say everyone turns up and everyone's just ready to just have a grand old time. Just like not even taking into account the likelihood of this virus just totally spreading through all of Drakenfest. But if you look at it, there's requirements that everyone would need to stay a certain amount of space apart because of social distancing. They would need to up majorly like upgrade the hygiene facilities. Like when you go to Drakenfest, they have all the porta potties and the shower areas and the kind of washing areas. And it's pretty good considering you're in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a field. Like you can't expect much better than that. Yet they would have to be somehow. And that is not a commentary on how Werven run things at all. Like it would have been too complex, uh, hard and expensive a thing to try and upgrade. So I don't think it really would have been feasible. Like I don't want to go into like a deep dive about how it would have been impossible to run this year. Cause I have a feeling there's, there's probably a demographic of people that still wanted it to go ahead regardless, which I'm sure is a whole other debate. I probably would not have supported that. And I've kind of had the impression Werven have wanted to cancel the event, but just they were kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place just because it would come down to them choosing to cancel their event that they sold tickets to rather than being forced to cancel the event from the government. So I'm pretty sure the insurance companies are into one thing happening not into the other. So they really needed this statement from the German government to be like, nah, you can't run your event. So if they hadn't have been told that they have to cancel and in turn not be able to get their insurance, I think that could have really done major damage to them. This is just me spitballing. I have no idea what way insurance works or what their costs are or what their expenses are. Okay, in saying all that though, I wanna pass on some of the details of how things will work for people who have bought tickets. I'm just gonna rip the plaster off as quick as I can. When it comes to tickets, if you've bought a ticket, you can't get a refund. That's that's the, the bit that I think some people were getting up in arms about. So from what I understand, you can exchange your ticket or like use it as a voucher for anything at Werven, like their online store or any of the gear they sell or anything like that. That includes putting it towards your Drakenfest ticket for next year. So you can still effectively use it for next year. Werven's also said that you can make your ticket into like multiple mini vouchers. So you can spend it on multiple things if you wanna use it to buy like a, a bunch of things. I think you can still use your tickets for Drakenfest 2021. Don't quote me on that though. Like your best bet is to go onto the Facebook page for Drakenfest. I'll link it in the description down below and have a look at the actual post there because they went into like great detail about what you can do with your ticket now. But yeah, uh, 2020 just not happening. I might try to do some kind of like little live streamy thing on Facebook or YouTube or something for some of the days of Drakenfest, but I will not be going to Germany. <laughs> and I think it could work out to everyone's benefit as well to take a year just to maybe either save up money for next year or get their kind of 
costuming and clothing and stuff to like a higher level like take the year to kind of properly prep just seeing as how there doesn't seem to really be any games running which is overall a good thing but on an immediate scale it feels kind of sucky i'm gonna buy so many cool looking things so i'm not just in a shirt pants and bandana i'm tired of it i want to i want to save up money and go splurge a little bit you know like i want to buy a cool coat want to buy some pirate stuff want to i don't know buy proper boots you know i just want to go i'm gonna have the money to do that now but like rather than spending money on like flights and everything like that i can spend that money on this kind of stuff now i think it could work out real well in the long term okay it sucks we don't get to go to drakenfest for a year but maybe every drakenfest after will be a lot better now maybe and like i was saying before wervin's not a huge company it's a small enough group of employees running the whole thing so I think they're really gonna need the support this year, especially if they're not getting income from the ticket sales this year. It could be worth, if you're thinking about picking up any kind of LARP stuff or reenactment type gear, or just any kind of like fantasy style thing, maybe give them a look if you're thinking about picking up any costuming or like weapons and stuff like that, just because their stuff is really good. And I think they're gonna need the support. But uh, yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to run by is just Dracofest 2020. It's not happening this year. It'll happen again in 2021. I'd be really curious to hear what you guys have to say and what you think about this. Do you think it was a good thing that Drakenfest is canceled this year? Do you think they should have powered through and run the event anyway for some reason? And maybe tell me what you're planning to use, maybe the time and money that you now have free and available. What are you gonna spend that on? You can maybe tell me all that in the comment section down below. Uh, if you want to reach out and have the chats, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Facebook. I'm also streaming over on Twitch twice a week, so I'm playing The Last of Us currently on Tuesdays, and I'm playing The Witcher 3 for the first time on Thursdays. I said that right, didn't I? Tuesday and Thursday. The tea days tend to be interchangeable with me, and it's night shift, well, night shift. But yeah, that's all for this one, guys. Uh, really interested in hearing what you think. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.